The next pattern in the Organizing Data series is called Encapsulate Collection. The motivation here is that you have a method or a property which returns a collection, and instead you want it to return a read-only view of that collection and to expose getters and setters for the objects within the collection. Now, basically what's happening here is that we have this simple property and we already have our getters and setters for the property but the property is a collection and so any consuming code which we can see down here can modify that collection without the object actually knowing about it all the object is doing is passing back the collection itself it doesn't know that anything new is being added or anything's being removed so the motivation here is that for this simple list of objects this person object should really be aware of whether or not anything's being added or removed. Now there are a number of different ways that one can approach something like this. What we're going to do today is simply provide add and remove methods on the person object for this and return a read-only collection for it. So let's start by creating our add and remove methods. That's simple enough. We could go through the code and change all of these, but we'll wait until the compiler tells us to at this point, because let's assume that there's a lot more code and a lot more code that consumes this, and we don't want to miss anything. So we can rely on the compiler and the red squiggly lines to tell us exactly what needs to be changed. So the next step is we're going to turn this from an auto-implemented property to an explicitly backed property. And now we can start to deprecate some of the functionality in this property. So first of all, let's make the setter private. The first thing this tells us is that this construction of the object here, we need to have a constructor that can do this because we can't directly set the property itself. So let's create some constructors. That way we're not taking in the actual object itself, but rather just using it to initialize our internal one. In fact, we could actually use constructor chaining for this. And then here, we simply use the constructor instead of the object initializer. Of course, this tells us that in this, in this particular case, this is actually kind of superfluous. We could leave it like this if different teams that weren't entirely communicating with each other were implementing these different pieces. But for now, we know that we're initializing it directly in the constructor here anyway. So we don't need that. So just for simplicity, let's just pull that out entirely could always re-add it if we ever need it down the line. 
So now the setter is private, but the problem has never been with the setter. The problem has always been with the getter, because all we have to do is see this object in order to modify it without without the parent object knowing. So we need to make the whole thing here private. So now we see how many of those there are. Well, we still need to provide some sort of access to it. So perhaps making it private isn't really what we need. Instead, let's create a read-only version of it. So now we can still see it, but we have all the red squigglies telling us we can't modify it now. Oh, in fact, we forgot the ones that were in here. And so now here, instead of modifying the collection directly, we have to tell the parent object what it is we're trying to do, which is to add and remove courses. Now the reading of it, for just observable purposes, is still working just fine. It's now only when we try to modify it that we have to actually modify the, the object which contains it. We have to modify this person object. Because in this particular case, the person object is the intelligent piece of this, and the course is just a piece of data that's on the person object. So you don't, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense to modify the course's collection directly, but rather to modify the person, which would in turn change its course's object internally. That's pretty much it for the encapsulate collection pattern. Thanks for watching.